Good morning and welcome to my show, La Canzona Cucina, also known as my singing kitchen. I'm Lou Pompilio. How are you? Okay, good. I'm okay too. <laughs> Today we're making stuffed calamar. Mm. Now, we have to let you know, we're making the stuffed calamar for my nephew, Tommy. He called him and said, brother, you want to make stuffed calamar? I haven't seen that show yet. And I said, hmm, okay. I sent him a message back because he texts everything. He doesn't have to make a phone call. I keep telling him, use your fingers, push the buttons, you can call me. Eh, he doesn't want it, so he text messages me, and I text message him back. And say, say I'm going to make it, it's going to be on the next episode, so here it is right today. Oh, All right, nice. this is for him. So, anyway, that's that. But before we do this, we want to start the gravy, because you got to put them in gravy, they're delicious in gravy, oh. make them a pasta. We're going to have it with linguine today. Nice. So, I'm going to come over here, and we'll start working on the gravy. Okay, I'll follow you. This is my frying pan. Nice to take. And we're going to add... A third of a cup. Oh, of hey! So it had, had to happen sometime cup. today. It had to hey. happen sometime today. Look at that. And it's about a third of a cup in there. Yum, yum. Boiling yum. fish is nice. Makes mm. everything happy. Okay, we got that in. Then we turn it on. Want to get garlic to it? Oh. Not too much. Too close. You know would be a great idea, Dan? We didn't even think about this. Put my glasses on so I can see what I'm doing. Hey! I can't see okay, now I can see everything. <laughs> so much faster, it's way better. <laughs> Garlic. Look at that. And I like chopping my garlic. I know people say, you know, slice it thin or put, but I like chopping it because when I toast it, when I roast it before we put everything else in, I roast it till it's golden brown. Mm. And then the taste of garlic is totally different to me. Raw garlic doesn't really make me as happy as I could be, but toasted garlic makes me very happy. Ooh, so I'll put yeah. this in here and let it kind of toast itself. And then when it gets brown, I'll add everything else I have to add to it. Oh, great. Okay, so it's going to go like that. I'm going to go out and get a can of tomatoes. Pastosos tomatoes, they're really good. Mm. I'm very happy with these. I always have been. Worth the trip to Brooklyn. Oh, definitely worth the trip to Brooklyn. Anchovies. Anchovy. And we're going to get a fork. And this, it looks this way because it's congealed, right? Is that what right, it? exactly. It's the only olive oil congealing in the refrigerator when it gets cold. Okay, and we're going to take a couple of these because there's going to be some uh, allegiance in the, in the uh, stuffing for the galamad. Oh. So we're only going to use two pieces. Just two pieces? Yeah. Nice. You pull it apart. You cut them up a little bit. Okay, that takes care of that. We'll leave this here for when we make the stuffing. The garlic is starting to turn brown. Oh, look at that. Mm -hmm. But you know, we've done this with everything we've done. We do. We always brown the garlic. We never let it stay straight. That's right. Let me put this over here, and this should look right down with this. Oh, look at that. Nice. Smell is wonderful, too. Always nice to have one of these handy. I think I like these a lot better than the magnetic ones that they attach on the top. Yeah, I do too. I think they work better. Actually, I'm going to make crush the with my hands. Oh, look at that. Just want to move off so it doesn't burn. And I'll put a little water in here. Okay, how much water do you put in those cans? Uh, just enough to like, clear the tomatoes out, about that much. Okay. Yeah, oh, just to good for the rest of the tomatoes. No sense letting it go to waste. I'm going to put it in here. Ah. I'm going to put the can over here. In my recyclable trays. Hey. Well, then I do my recycle. favorite thing. Ah. Oh. Oh. That always feels nice. Mm -hmm. Good consistency. And I never knew that until we started doing the show, doing this. And I actually made macaroni the other night. When I did the gravy, I did that. And uh, for, it was the first time I did it. Oh, did it really? How did it come out? It came out really, really good. And that's the great thing about all the episodes of Bean On. If you really want to know how to make something, just go back and look. They're always available right on YouTube. Now, when we make meat in the gravy, which we're going to have to do pretty soon, is yeah. put meat in the gravy, then it's going to be different. Then we're going to strain the tomatoes. Oh. Because what happens, the meat has to cook longer in the gravy. Mm -hmm. Unlike the fish, which doesn't take long or anything else, it takes 20 minutes and it's done. But when you make meat in the gravy, it takes a little bit longer to cook it. And what happens is seeds give it a bitter taste. Oh. And I don't like to add sugar to it because sugar is not something that belongs in gravy. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, people that are depressed, they say, well, you know, it gets a little too, uh, it gets a little too bitter with the, the seeds, and so let's add sugar to it. So rather than add the sugar, I strain the tomatoes, mm -hmm. and then, oh, let me get around there. I want to go this way, sure. Go right now. So you strain the tomatoes, and then I strain the tomatoes using tomato strain. These are crushed, but they'll be strained. And I don't like crushing whole tomatoes. I don't like to buy crushed tomatoes because mm -hmm. I don't know what's in them. Oh, that's, that's a good point. At least this one, I know what they are. The whole tomatoes, they look good. They're in the right stuff. And that's that. I was looking for my white wine. This is uh, Oh, it. now does white go better? Yeah, with the fish, white's a little bit better. So we add a little white wine to it, and we let it cook. Oh, nice. Add salt and pepper. Now, after you add the salt and pepper, how long do you think you have? 20 minutes. 20 minutes? Ah, nice. Mom would be very happy about that. Okay. Let me mix this up. Okay. Then we'll go back and we'll stuff the galamata. And by the time we have more stuff, it'll be ready to go. Put the galamata over here and the stuffing for the galamata over here. Mm. So, I don't know how much this is going to take and I don't want to waste all of it. So, I'll get another bowl. Okay. Put it out. And... Meanwhile, the gravy's uh, cooking. Cooking up. Yeah, it's not too high. It's probably on like three or four, maybe even a little bit lower. More like on three. I'm just cooking nice and easily. I'll take some of the bread from here. This is just crushed Italian bread. If you see this bread that I bought from Brooklyn, this panella bread, oh. I wet the thing, I broke it up into pieces and crushed it into it like this. So I'll take some of this and I'll put it here like this. And put a little more over here like that. And that should be fine. Oh, nice. Then, to this, we add salt. Salt. Hey. Salt. Some pepper. A little hot pepper, not much, just a touch. There. We add our leach. Which is anchovies again. Cut it really small. You know, dice it. Mince it up. Put it in here, like that. Oh, look at that. This is an egg. We put this in it to bind it. This much off. Ah. This little colander. And Rinse it, wash it. Wash the parsley. And we'll come down here and get rid of this knife because it's not good for chopping parsley. Okay, that's all chopped up. And we add it to here. There's one thing about parsley. You can never add too much. Really? Yeah, you can, I mean, you know, even if you add too much, it's still never too much. You can always add too little up. So you just make sure you got plenty. So that's that. Then take it with a fork and we'll mix it all up. Actually, so I'm going to do the hands. Now, then I got to wash my hands. Oh. <laughs> it's just full of stuff. So, you're so what I did is I cut the end off. Mm -hmm. And left the hole a little bit bigger so you can stuff it. Oh, great. Yeah, that one fully stuffed. Yeah, and we have the whole staff of La Canzona really Cucina nice. working on this. My grandmother used to make meatballs on a Friday night, but never made it with meat. Mm -hmm. She would take the stuff that you would normally make meatballs, except she'd use everything in it and put cheese in it too. And made it just like this. She made it with the gob, but she didn't need it all each. So she used the bread, she used the cheese, she used salt and pepper and parsley, and she would put them in and she'd stuff it, and then she would make them on a Friday night and fry them. And it was like having meatballs without having any meat. Little did we realize that my grandmother wasn't as affluent as we thought she would be, or that we thought she was. And basically she saved on everything that she made and everything she put together, and ate really, really well, and never really wanted for anything. Wow. 
And she made these, and these were absolutely outrageous. And then we realized, it's the same thing that they put this together with, and this is the same thing you do this with, and this was just stuff my grandmother did, and everything she did just worked out really well. Except you so, don't put cheese in yours, is that a difference? Well, this has got meat, and when you put in, you don't put, when you fish. make it with meat, you don't put cheese in with fish. the meat. Fish. With the fish. I'm sorry. Thank you. Fish. Is it fish, fish, or is it fish? So this is why we have a staff here at Lockup. Right, exactly, so we can say these things. You can talk to them. You don't have to be afraid. You can talk. Everybody's allowed to talk. I just had to make this comment. These two women that are really intelligent, that if you get them talking, don't stop. When a camera pops out, they're like the opposite of Lou and I. They just, all of a sudden, they clam up. It's amazing. It's not really a depiction of real life. Well, you comment on every comment. That now, there's, there, there, there's the person comments. I know. Keep talking. Yeah, I should continue. Let her continue. Look at this. Because I don't want you to comment on my comments, so I don't comment. So no comments. <laughs> yes. I'm the silent partner, so to speak. So to speak. <laughs> <laughs> no pun intended. If you don't calculate precisely and you have some of the stuffing left over, you can fry it and then put it in the gravy as well. So you just put them in? Is that yeah, it? Yeah, that's it. They're kind of diving in like Esther Williams. One of those Bus Busby Berkeley musicals. <laughs> They're all lined up. You really should have your own spin-off <laughs> show. You really should. Well, look at this. Wow. Isn't this exciting? Don't so the taste of the gravy gets anyway? in there too? Yeah. Nice. Oh, it's very flavorful. These are like Lacuchina dolphins attacking the sharks. Yes. Ooh. Again, it's better for me. Lacuchina. Better, better for you. Better, better for, for the, the whales. whales. <laughs> or, or better for them. <laughs> Little Bill Shatner here? If you get, you know, that's like poetry, William Shatner. Poetry. Iambic pentameter. Look at this. Exactly. And this is the last man standing. Last of the... Okay, water's going in the pot for the pasta. And put on the stove. And then I'm gonna take 50 minutes over my guitar, I'll play some music. And when we get back, everything will be done. We'll put it on a plate and we'll sit down and everyone can eat. And you said this takes about 15 minutes to cook, just like that. Just 15 minutes? Yep. Oh, that's great. About as long as the pasta takes to cook, that's how long it's gonna take for that to cook. Oh, perfect. Gotta add salt to it, of course. Of course. Let me get the salt box guy. Anyway, we got the galamad in here. We set about 15 minutes for it. Mm -hmm. And the reason for that is you want to cook the inside the stuffing. I said and also to cook the galamad because galamad is a really funny thing. You have to cook it just a little bit or you got to cook it longer. Because if you cook it just a little bit, it comes out nice and tender and delicious. If you're just making the rings, if you're putting them in gravy, if you're making fra de owl, there's just a little bit of time. But when you cook them for a long time like this, because you have to cook the inside, the longer you cook them, the more tender they get. So 10 minutes is, mm, 15 minutes is okay. So I'm going to say 15 minutes, and when you're done, you take the gravy, you put it on the side, let it sit in there for a minute, so all of the flavors kind of mix in with each other, and they make it perfect. And then it'll be ready. Okay? Okay, this is one of my originals from my album. Uh, from the album is called On the Incoming Tide, and this is called Crazy About You. inside my chest and the best thing about you is that I'm crazy without you here with me like a leaf in the autumn breeze I'm floating in colors please help me I'm upside down and we're bound for a reason like the change of the season you will always be pleasing I'm crazy about you I feel so crazy without you Here with me Like a dove on a windowsill I just go and I'll go Till I have you here with me And we're bound for a reason Like the change of the season You will always be pleasing About you. I go so crazy without you, here with me, like a dove on a windowsill, I'll just go and up until I have you here with me, because I'm crazy about you, I go so crazy without you.
go so crazy without you Cause I'm so crazy about you I go so crazy without you